Now folks, another quick unboxing for you today. Okay, so you recognize that H there on the box? This is coming from the H shop or Hoodwinky shop. This is the Timex, the Timex Q. So obviously Timex brought out the Q in the 70s and then they reissued it in a couple of different iterations since. Uh, one with an automatic movement and one with a Pepsi quartz movement. The automatic was a kind of a Batman. Now, I'm not a classy guy, so I don't have wine for this one, so I'm having a, a can of Heineken. Uh, all right, oh my goodness, look at all this stuff. So genuine unboxing, I don't want to go this, all this go all over the place, although the kitchen is not in great shape anyway. Uh, okay, the box there now. And here we go, Timex Plus Winky. So I couldn't resist this when it came up. Obviously there was people posting about it on Instagram, etc. And as soon as I saw it, I couldn't resist. And I'm glad I did now, to be honest, because, well, it sold out within a day. So we've got a box, within a box, within a box. Here we go. Let's try and keep all this stuff together. So this is a genuine unboxing. So you'll get it for, and there it is. First time reaction. And there it is, the Timex Q. So how does this feel then? Let's try and get it out of there now. Give me one second. I'm back to my old phone today, recording this now, trying to do it in 60 FPS, so it all depends on whether A, iMovie picks it up as being 60 FPS. I can export it as that, and then I can upload it to YouTube. So this is a quartz, obviously, with the, you can see the, the back, you know, see-through case backs here. <laughs> no, but we have got that uh, easy battery change thing, Q Timex. Very good. I'll try and get that, that plastic off. There's a little yellow tab here. There we go. That's like a bandage. Off she comes. And there we are. There's more plastic on it, is there? Oh, there's more plastic on the bezel there, look. Now, so this is it. There's the bracelet that uh, Adrian off Bark and Jack, it pulled the hairs off his arm. So uh, we'll see how we get on with that. So yeah, look, it's very understated, isn't it? There should be a little pull out tab here. Look, there it is, look. Little pull out tab, get the old battery going. Let me see now, Let's see if we can pull out the crown. Pull out the tab. There's the tab gone. We probably need to push in. Let's just set the time. Quick wristwatch check. This is the Seiko, uh, what is it? SB, SPB053. This was the 62 mass re edition before the 62 mass re edition. Um, you know, I think I prefer this one. I prefer the indices on it. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. Push it in and there she goes. It's a long time since I had a quartz watch. So no smooth sweep here. But I like the style of this. It's almost like an integrated bracelet. There are no lugs to speak of. Okay, let's see what we have here now. I believe it's a friction. No, it's not. I thought it was like a friction held bezel. I didn't think there was a click, but there's definitely a click there. In fact, there's 120 of them. I wonder is it like Seiko or does it actually align? Is it aligned? It's hard to see, isn't it? Is it aligned? Let me have a look off camera. It might have gone too far. Oh, it moves both ways. Look, it's bi-directional. Now, keep an eye on that in to say, is it aligned? It's, it's really not. Oh, it's not too bad. In that position there, it's fine. And we have a domed acrylic bezel here. So if it gets scratched at all out with the old poly watch, 
Now, what really drew me to this, oh yeah, that's nice. That's a nice action there on the changing the, the time, 10 to eight, 10 to eight, there we go. Now, I suppose this looks a bit like a Rolex Explorer 2, the Polar Edition. And um, so far as, does it have an orange hand? Well, it's a red hand, or is it orange? Oh, it's red. But you've got, I suppose you've got that steel bezel. There's no bezel insert here, and it's a very understated dial. And we've got loomed indices, and that's it. It's so sparse looking. I really like it though, it's very nice. No sign crown on the rear. We've got Timex. We have Houdinki signature. Sorry, Paris, my daughter is just looking for something there. So, what's that say? Movement Japan bracelet, China. Okay, let's pause that for one second, folks. Yeah, I, I really like that. I have to say, I love it. I love it. The indices on the bezel are painted black. I presume it's a paint. That's lovely. There's not a whole lot of detail to the dial. It's just plain white, but it's really nice. Now, before I end this video, I might just throw in a loom shot, but let's just see what a wrist shot is like. Just give me one second there now. I'm going to throw it on wrist and take off this Seiko. This, I love these elastic NATO style straps. They're just so comfortable. And as well as that, when you've got a big watch like this, this is 50 mil lug to lug. I find with an elastic strap, it holds it close to the wrist and it kind of belies its overall size. It just looks far more comfortable on the wrist. But yeah, I, I really like this. Now I'll need to size it. Let's just see what it looks like. Just give me one second there. Well, would you look at that? It doesn't even need to be resized. It's almost, it's actually perfect out of the box. It's not even pulling, it's not even pulling the hairs on my arm. Look, it's so retro, so 70s, so quartz. And then look, oh, look at that. Look at that domed acrylic crystal. Yeah, wow, I love it. I love that. I love the, let's look at some of it. So we've got brushed here and then it's polished on the top side. It's so retro, it's so cool looking. And then of course it's signed by Houdinki there. Yeah, I, I'm really impressed, I have to say. I really like that for a quartz. And uh, Timex signed buckle. And that's what it is on wrist. So that's it, folks. Look, tell me what you think in the comments. Um, it's sold out now, so it's going to be hard to get one. Somebody told me that they're selling for €500 Euro already. Because they're sold out on the likes of Chrono 24. That's just crazy. It's ridiculous. Anyway, folks, that's it. Like and subscribe. Plenty more videos coming your way. We've nearly hit 500 subscribers here on subscribers on Wonder of Watches. So listen, thanks very much for that. I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon in the next video. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. We're going to give away the Corju, the uh, the Seamaster homage. So if you're interested in that watch, keep tuned. Uh, keep tuned in, and we're going to give it away. So that's it. The Houdinki Plus Timex. The Q Timex. Good luck, folks. Ben. <laughs>